What's up guys, Chicks Day from Chicks Day Reviews. What's up guys, Chicks Day from Chicks Day Reviews. So today, I've got my hands on the Ace PC CK2 Mini. Now this is a small compact mini PC running full Windows 10 and you have some pretty decent specs and features which includes triple display outputs, it's upgradable and it supports 4K. Now first of all, inside the box you will find your user manual, you're also getting a VESA mount with some screws and the mount is made from metal and with this of course you'll be able to mount the mini PC at the back of your TV. You're also getting a power supply. The voltage is 12 volts 4.0A. You're also getting a power cable, an HDMI cable, and of course the mini PC itself. Now the mini PC is made completely from plastic but you've got this dark space grey colour. Um, it's giving a very metallic effect. Now you have these vents going all the way around at the top and all of those parts are finished in chrome. Again, it adds to that nice design. On the front you've got an LED light strip. On the side there is nothing. On the back you've got a gigabit LAN, HDMI out, Kensington locked, you've got a mini display port and a VGA port along with your power socket. So yes, it supports triple display output, so HDMI, mini display and VGA at the same time. And there is an ejector at the top and I'll show you what that does in a bit. If we keep going, you've got six USB ports. So four USB 3 ports and two USB 2 ports. You have a 3.5 millimeter OGS and a microphone jack along with a physical power button. So that brings us back to the front and if we flip it over, but this is what the bottom of the unit looks like and at the bottom you can clearly see through the vents that there is a small black fan so there is an internal cooling fan and that's always a plus point with these mini pcs now quickly go through the specifications now this mini pc is powered by the intel core i5 7200u and that is a dual core processor now the graphics are shared intel hd 620 You've got 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which is upgradable up to 16 gigs. Now, internal storage, you have 128 gig M2 SSD, and that is also upgradable to 2 terabytes. And if that was not enough, you have a spare 2.5 inch SATA expansion. So you can stick in a 2.5 inch SATA drive up to 2 terabytes. So plenty of upgrade options for your internal storage. Now, this has Wi-Fi AC, Gigabit LAN, Bluetooth 4.2, we've got plenty of USB 3 ports, pre-installed with a licensed copy of Windows 10 Pro 64-bit edition. You've got your triple display outputs, internal cooling fan, and this supports 4K at 60 frames per second. Now let's have a closer look at the upgrade. So if you slide the ejector switch, you'll be able to lift off the top and that will expose your upgrades. So on the top you can see you've got an enclosure here for a 2.5 inch SATA. Just underneath that you can see your M2 SSD and I think we're going to have a closer look. So I'm going to remove these three screws and show you exactly how you can upgrade this. Okay, so we're just going to remove the 2.5 inch SATA enclosure. Three screws. One. Two. And three. This should just lift off. There we go. So over here you have your Wi-Fi card. Over here you've got your M2 SSD, 128 gigs. Open this screw and swap it out with a two terabyte. And then of course you have to reinstall Windows. Now over here is your RAM. It's, you seem to have only one slot available. And there are the specifications for the RAM. You can see it's an eight gig DDR4 RAM. And you can upgrade that up to 16 gigs. I absolutely love how easy it is to upgrade this unit. I literally opened only three screws remove this drive and then you've got access to the main parts that you can upgrade and in the future if you have any wi-fi issues you can easily upgrade that wi-fi card as well nice job ace pc absolutely loving the upgrade options here and you can add that two and a half inch drive anytime you like so the ace pc ck2 mini sounds very promising on paper Love the upgrade options, specifications look pretty decent. You've got the Core i5 in there. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this all connected up and find out exactly what it's capable of. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test 
and this mini PC took 19 seconds to fully boot up from a cold start. And here is your desktop and this is the full version of Windows 10 Pro comes with all the usual Windows apps you will expect to find including the Windows App Store where you can download all your favorite apps and games. So this is basically a full PC experience in a mini compact size. This system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications and also play quite a few games from the Windows Store including Asphalt 9 and Modern Combat 5. Now let's go ahead and check out the system properties. So as you can see it's Windows 10 Pro with the Core i5-7200U, 8 gigs of RAM, it's a 64-bit OS and it's already activated and ready to use. Now moving on to the system storage info, we have 128 gigs of internal storage from which 118 gigs are usable and from that we have 91.1 gigs free to use. And the second drive you see is my 64 gig flash drive which contains all my 4K samples which we are going to use next. So let's go ahead and play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and see how it performs. So this is a 4K video sample at 60 FPS with HDR and as you can see the video is slower than it should be and also the audio chops out every now and then making it unwatchable. And exactly the same happened when playing 4K at 30 FPS video samples. This time the video was a lot smoother but the audio kept cutting out. I also tried many different media players but achieved exactly the same result. So for some strange reason, even though we have quite a powerful PC here, the 4K videos are struggling when played from USB drive. If you copy your video files directly onto the internal drive, then the videos play absolutely fine. We are only getting issues playing from USB. Now let's move on to some 4K video streaming on YouTube. So this first clip is 4K at 60 FPS and deja vu, the audio is cutting out every few seconds. So it looks like we're not going to be able to stream 4K 60 from YouTube. So then I streamed some 4K at 30 FPS videos and they streamed absolutely fine. They looked for it in South America, but it was in Africa the whole time. I don't know. One first chunk is about to hit. It's only part of it. It's going to so next up I loaded up Netflix from the web browser and I was able to stream a maximum of 1080p on Netflix with no issues. Nothing about. And streaming on Amazon Prime Video from the web browser also gives you smooth 1080p video streaming. So moving on to some gaming, we are going to be playing Asphalt 9. Also, I have maxed out the graphics to the highest setting, so let's go ahead and see how this game performs. So now I'm going to briefly test out the multitasking capabilities of this mini PC. I'll open up a whole bunch of games and applications all at the same time and we're going to see how the system copes. So as you can see we have lots of stuff open. You can hear it all playing in the background at the same time and the system's handling generally quite well. I don't feel any lag or slowdown. I have at least two games open at the same time. I've got a video playing on YouTube as well. So we have quite a powerful little mini PC with a very good multitasking capabilities. And here are the results for the Wi-Fi speed test. We achieved download speeds of 53 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And for your information, this is typically the top speed I achieve in my area. Now onto the benchmarks, Antutu is no longer available on Windows, so instead we are looking at the CPU benchmark score by Passmark. So we have a score of 3398, and in Cinebench we achieved 1879. So let's see how this compares to the others. 
And here is my top performing mini PC chart for 2021, allowing you to compare the specs, prices and features of the most popular mini PCs. So as you can see, the new Ace PC CK2 has taken position 3 on this chart with a pass mark score of 3398. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online and free of charge at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new Ace PC CK2 mini PC. So here are my thoughts on this device. You have a decent overall build quality and performance. Unfortunately, there seems to be a possible issue with my unit as I cannot play 4K videos at 60 FPS from either USB or from streaming on YouTube. Technically, this mini PC should easily handle 4K 60. I also downloaded the latest codec pack, but to no avail. 4K 30 and 1080p works fine on all video formats. Other than that, I found this to be a great mini PC, especially for your general web browsing, office applications like word processing, spreadsheets, emails, web designing, coding, graphics, and even light 1080p video editing worked absolutely fine. Now, basic gaming from the App Store, Asphalt 9, Candy Crush, etc. all work fine, but don't expect to run AAA games as Intel HD graphics simply won't let you. Now games from game streaming services like Google Stadia and PlayStation Now all work absolutely fine. Now a major plus point for this mini PC is the ability to upgrade. You can upgrade the RAM, the M2 SSD and also add an additional 2.5 inch SATA drive. So bottom line, whilst you're getting a core i5 performance, 8 gigs of RAM and a fast SSD storage with lots of future upgrading options, you simply can't ignore the fact that an AMD Ryzen 5 mini PC will also cost you around the same price, but offers nearly triple the performance than this mini PC. So you can refer back to my mini PC chart to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now don't get me wrong, I still like the Ace PC CK2, it's a great little machine, but I really think that price needs to drop to offer better value. Now do let me know in the comments what you guys think of this one, and with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.